Hey guys, welcome to the tip of the week by Blender File. My name is Shiv and today we'll be talking about some display properties which will keep your viewport handy and a bit presentable. Alright, so uh, over here I got this uh, Suvan which has a subdivision surface of 1. Okay, and if you go to uh, this object tab in your properties panel and right down over here to the display you can see there's a bunch of things over here right now uh, this thing the first thing tells uh, the name displays the name of your object currently selected or basically every object that is over there right so if you have anything it will display its name whatever name you can change it from here and we'll just display that over there right there okay so next thing is access now this axis gives uh, the local axis of your mesh so currently say Z is facing up right now if I go to edit mode and rotate this something like that it will still have that thing over there right now if I rotate this something like this you can see it is actually rotating on its local axis right now okay so if I change this from global to local you will see the Z axis now follows the Z which is over here now if I want to confirm this I'll press ctrl A and apply the rotation and it'll get reset back to the facing upwards right so that's the difference also between local and global next is wire this is quite helpful right it shows the wireframe of your mesh directly over now you can just print screen and send it to somebody showing you know showing off your wireframes all right and sometimes what happens is it doesn't show all the wire which are there Right, so you can just press uh, this one as well. Now it shows, okay, see if there is this, if you can see, uh, there is this edge which is not shown, and just as I turn this on, it'll show every edge which is there inside the mesh after this is applied. Now, if the surface, uh, if you don't want to show the subsurface um, lines, you can just turn on optimal display and it'll show only uh, the geometry which is actually present in the mesh right all curve around uh, the surface and that's pretty much it right so that is all the cool you can just you know, showcase your models like that okay next thing i just turn them off like this and box bounding box right so this creates a bounding box around your object now you can have it in different shapes now currently shows a box you can have a sphere around your mesh and you can also have other things like slender and cone and capsule a capsule and box uh, slender are a bit oh, sorry capsule and sphere are a bit different if it's scaled like that that's what capsule is doing and if it's scaled like that okay wait a so this is what sphere is doing right that so makes a sphere all around the mesh and capsule it just it's like you know two spheres you know makes a capsule okay you can see that mm, let me just apply scale again all right now you can see the capsule thingy okay all right next is texture space now this is a really interesting thing now i'll just change this to my material right and you will add in a new material on this guy and add in a noise texture now uh, if you are making noise texture and you want it to go a bit you know change its direction a little now you can either increase the scale or add in a mapping node and change the location and things right but now you don't need that at all right so what it does this texture space is if you press uh, shift and T right if you press shift T it will start uh, moving your texture space now what texture space moves is it moves uh, the mesh's UV according to the generated UV texturing space right so now if I directly move uh, the texture space you can see it's moving right up over here right so it's basically moving the texture space of the generated coordinates now how cool is that wow now you don't even need that generated uh, texture space at all. You can just uh, directly work from your noise texture and texture space. Now if you uh, by mistakenly press shift T and this thing occurs and you don't know how to change it, how to move it, you can't select that thing at all, right? So just go over here to object space and turn off this texture space. 
Alright, next is the X-Ray. Now this is also interesting. It keeps your mesh above all other meshes. So if you have uh, another mesh, like I have a cube, right? So uh, right. So this time, oh, currently uh, the monkey is inside the cube, and I want to see the whole monkey thing. So I'll just turn on X-Ray and come over it. What's the use of this? Well, while adding bones to rig your mesh, you know, you can always do that. Uh, adding a single bone and now you want to place it somewhere and you have no idea where it is going actually no so working in wireframe sometimes can be a bit difficult you know you have no idea what's this what's going on in here right so you just turn on x-ray for uh, your bone over here select the bone and go to this property of the object bone and turn on x-ray and make sure your monkey has this x-ray turned off Right now you can see your bone right above uh, the surface of the monkey. Now you can rig your monkey as you want. Now next is transparency. Now transparency and right below it is this object color. These two work in your blender internal render not cycles. I don't know how to make them work in cycles but they do work in internal rendering engine. All right. And before we show that, let's go into the maximum draw type. Now this, there's something which shows the, uh, the hierarchy of the level of detail viewport will show. Now if I make this to bounds, now it'll only show uh, the bound which is, you know, I'll just change that to box, okay. Alright. Now this shows is the bounding box of an object. Now if you don't want that, you know, you can just make it textured. You can go from here to bounding box and all the objects will now only come as a bounding box right now if you turn that back to uh, if you go back to your solid view you can see all the things you have over there okay now I only now I want the monkey to be only showing its bounds I don't want it to have the uh, its geometry so I can turn it on right from here so this is the maximum level of detail it will show in the viewport that is only its bounds and then i make then i can make it wire so it will give that wireframe all the time you don't need to go to wireframe mode to see your wireframe just does it in the solid view then there is solid which means it will show solid view till solid view it will show bounding box it will show wireframe it will show solid but it will not show textures now if, if we give it a texture we have texture that's not hmm, weird all right let's add an image texture quickly something like wrap and make it go. all right now in texture mode if i can't see the textures on it because this is turned set to solid now if i make this texture now i can see there is this texture on it the texture should have used a better one uh something which is a bit color all right there it is hmm. i can see the texture on it but if I turn it back to solid or wire or bounce, I can't see the texture. Basically, I can't see a higher level object now. So that's the thing. All right, next we have to open up a new scene. All right, turn this to Blender Render, and I'm gonna go to Object Space and turn on Transparency. Now, it also needs is something. Let's just not do Transparency first. Okay. And we're gonna go change the object color now. This does nothing because we have to change. Uh, we have to give it permission to ob change the object color. Now if you go to your material and add in a new material on this one, and go down here to options in the material tab and turn on this object color. Now you can give one single color to each of your objects. All right. Next is the transparency. And if you turn that on. Nothing will happen. <laughs> Obviously, this also needs a bit of permission. Now, if you go down to your material tab again, and here this says transparency. Turn that on. And this time, if you uh, see, there is this alpha thing over here. To decrease the alpha, your material will start to fade off. Right. So the lower the level alpha is the less your object is visible now if you press shift that it will be there okay it's showing it is showing alpha you know if you turn that way up no alpha and way down it's transparent okay and you want to see that in your viewport as well where the transparency is working so you just go over here turn on transparency and now this is also transparent how cool is that All right so that is basically the display features that can help you 
present your scene in a better way. And I hope you enjoyed the tip of the week. And I'll see you next week. Bye.